Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera to Miss Aziz and all my fellow friends. Now I will talking about the bioethanol as a source of renewable energy. As we already know, the renewable energy is a readily available in form of clean fuel for combustion engine that is made from plant-based feedstock. The biofuel produces considerable lower emission on combustion and the energy saving production of bioethanol is reduce the greenhouse emission from the transport and the traffic at least a 35% compared to the fossil fuel. The bioethanol feedstock is found from two major sources that known as a first generation biofuel and a second generation biofuel. For the first generation biofuel is consists of cereal and a sugar crop. A cereal crop such as maize, wheat, barley and rye, while a sugar crop such as a sugar cane, sweet sorghum and a sugar beans. Now for the second generation biofuel uh, such as a lignocellulosic biomass. The lignocellulosic biomass are mostly found in a woody plant such as eucalyptus tree, micatus, hemp, giant tree, leucinia and others. Now I will stress about the second generation of biofuel because the second generation is more available to, pro to produce bioethanol because uh, second generation are not disturb the food production sources such as, uh, such as the first generation because the first generation first generation consists of cereal and sugar crop that we know the cereal and sugar crop are the main sources of food production. Uh, lignocellulose is mostly found in a plant in a plant in a plant wall. Uh, the lignocellulose is consists major three polymer that is known as cellulose, hemicellulose and uh, lignin. The linocellulose biomass is a complex substrate and essentially made of cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. The process would have been considered attempt to recover a maximum amount of sugar from the hydrolysis of cellulose and hemicellulose and to ferment them into ethanol. The biomass waste contains a complex mixture of carbohydrate polymer from the plant cell wall, known as cellulose. The biomass is treated with a acid or enzyme in order to reduce the size of the feedstock and to open the plant structure. The lignocellulose and the hemicellulose portion are broken down by using hydrolysis or diluted acid into a sucrose sugar that is then fermented into ethanol. The lignin which is also present uh, in the biomass is normally used as a fuel for the ethanol production plant boiler. There are three principal methods of the extracting sugar from biomass that are concentrated hydrolysis, dilute acid hydrolysis and the enzymatic hydrolysis. The biofuel is mainly produced by a sugar fermentation process, although it can also be a manufacture by a chemical process of reacting ethylene with steam. The main source of sugar to produce ethanol comes from fuel or energy crops. The process of bioethanol plant are begin are designed for outstanding yield and product quality and most advanced in terms of energy saving and environment protection process economic and to optimize the long-term cost benefit ratio for the plant as for the conclusion i hope uh, we hope that uh, the researcher will discover the bioethanol production from the biomass, lignocellulose biomass uh, and 
make the plan make the plan become a R&D plan to produce higher yield of glucose as a feedstock of bioethanol.